Here's a little bit more on the seed fermentation. Labeled with the date, water at it, and hopefully you'll be able to see how you know clear that looks. All of the varieties, and this lets me know, you know, having the date on there I, with all of these different varieties, it's hard to keep track. Little note on this Marion of all the tomatoes that we've been tasting over the years. Whew. This one's a top pick for flavor. If uh, it's, you know, it, the texture's on the mushy side, but the sweetness and the flavor is just unbelievable. So there you have it, the uh, seeds that are fresh. And over here, this is on the 26th. And you see that white film and this one on the 27th, it's even got uh, the start of some mold. Don't be alarmed when you see that. And here's on the 29th. So that's a day in. We have, you know, fresh. These, this one on the 26th, will be rinsed and they'll rinse clean like I had showed you in the earlier video. This is another jar of the Wonderberry, AKA Garden Huckleberry. And I talked to you about this, not eating the berry green. It's poisonous, wait till it's dark. I've read further that some people say you should only eat it after it's been cooked. And I've consumed it uncooked and I'm still here to talk about it. No stomach aches, nothing like that, no bad reaction. Anyway, while I'm, while I'm pointing this out, is this is a new seed to me and I've tried various techniques of uh, squeezing out as much of the berries as I can and then adding the water uh, trying to keep the plant material free and clear and then the other is squishing the berries right in the container adding the water and then rinsing the plant material and floating the plant material and what I mean by that is the technique of having your seeds in the container, filling it with water, and seeds most of the time sink. There's exception sunflower, this, that, the other thing. You don't really have to rinse sunflower, but they do, they float, even if they're viable. Anyway, I'm off point, is saying that the uh, a lot of times the seeds will sink, plant material will float, and then you could just gently tip your container and get the plant material off, leaving the seed behind. I have found with the uh, Wonderberry that I like it best to try to squeeze the seeds free of the plant material first off. Notes on strainers. Uh, this is my second one of this style and when I had gone to the store to replace the old one that's busted up, uh, I just assumed that the, the screen, because it looked so similar, was going to be the same size and this screen is actually larger than the one that I had been working with and some of my seeds that I had assumed were going to stay inside of the strainer went through and for these wonder berries uh, a very fine mesh screen is needed those uh, went right through this and I lost some down the drain I've mentioned that before. Make sure that you're picking the right size strainer. Okay, good luck with your gardening, your seed collecting, and I'll be back with more soon. Arrivederci.